ladies and gentlemen, it's hard out there for a pimp, but uh, it's even harder out there for a nerd. Us nerds are the oppressed and the downtrodden. You know, overlooked at high school dances, shunned at cafeteria lunch tables, picked last in dodgeball, beat up and spit on and wedged and ridiculed in gym class locker rooms across the globe. But you know what? We're not gonna fucking take it anymore. Life sucks. Just continue us disappointments, and it won't get no better with sob screams or ointments. Just the kind of thing that's gonna fester and I explain nerdcore to someone as geek rap, nerd rap, as rappers who rap about video games, computers, technology, stuff like that. You can be yourself and still like rap. Rap isn't exclusively about shooting people or being a gangster. It's about, you know, rhythm and flow and about, you know, beats, and it's about good stuff. I'm not trying to be or make fun of uh, mainstream hip hop now. I mean, we're not. Or not a parody. It's really definitely an expression of, of kind of like, I don't give a fuck, right? I'm just going to do whatever I'm going to do. I mean, if you think about how gangster rap, it's like, I'm going to rap about my life. Nerdcore is fun. It's about whatever the hell you want it to be about. That's the difference between regular rap and nerdcore. For anyone who's read The Lord of the Rings, you would, you'll know that uh, J.R. Tolkien fills the stories with rhyming. But that's a uh, really important part of how he tells the story. So it's sort of natural when you have that rhyming to just set it to a beat and uh, make hip hop out of it. The idea of Stephen Hawking rapping in itself, that's funny. But then you add kind of kind of the ridiculous upon the ridiculous upon the ridiculous. And to me that that's really funny. Bishojos, this is a Japanese word for pretty girls. And I use this again and again because it's my way of having that kind of rap thing of being all about the ladies, but in an incredibly otaku-centric fashion. I love nerds. I love nerds. I'm just some fucking dude. Nobody get out. Who the fuck cares, you know, what I have to say. But if you have your, you know, character, then it's like, you know, even in, when you play D&D, you know, you don't play as yourself. You make a character. You invent a character. You roll the dice to decide, like, what your MC level is. You know, you might get a 3 and you can't rap, or you might have an 18, and then you'd be a great rapper. In my time, I've seen empires crumble. In my time, I've seen Snape kill Dumble. In my time, I've seen fools net stumble. In my time, I've seen loud go humble. In my time, I've seen bubbles burst. And in my time, I've seen Hubble's cursed. In my time, I seen trouble hurts, and in my time, I've been through worse. Big smile and programming their hand in these fans with unbeatable jams, and let's face it, I'm visually basic. Hand me a website. You know, you're gonna hear people rapping about uh, comic books, video games, role playing, non deterministic fighting, automata. But you know, we all got one thing in common, and that's that uh, we're all trying to preach the gospel of nerd empowerment. You know, we're trying to. Spread that nerd pride. Spread that nerd love. Nerdcore is great. It's gonna fucking blow up and shit. And then we're gonna be rich as hell. I'm gonna play diamond video games. I'm gonna have an arcade that is made out of gold. If you're doing nerdcore and uh, you really want to become famous out of it, uh, it's just not gonna happen. In the 20s, we had women's live. In the 60s, it was civil rights. In the 90s, gay pride. In the new millennium, bitches better fear the nerd revolution. Yo, throw up your hands if you like this music. Podcasting DJs, feel free to use it. Gotta hold myself just to get my next gig. Yo, this is my life, baby. Nerd call for life. Throw up your hands if you like this music. Podcasting DJs, feel free to use it. Gotta hold myself just to get my next gig. Yo, this is